Hey, I'm John Thielen, host of Lindy's Fish Head Television. You know, one of my favorite ways to fish is trill crankbaits. And, and you know, a lot of times, fish will be on brake lines when we're trolling crankbaits. And then there's other times we're just out in the middle of a basin. And when you're out in the middle of a basin, you don't necessarily have contour lines on your Lake Master map that are gonna show you everything. And it's because there's nothing there. There was nothing when it was mapped. There's no change. So there's no contour line there. And that's why every now and then you look at your map and you, it just looks kind of featureless. Well, that's because the bottom's actually featureless. I mean, these maps in these, in these Humminbird units, the Lake Master system now is so precise that if you don't see a contour line, there is no depth change. I'll tell you right now, flat out, that's just a featureless bottom. But there are times of the year that fish get over those featureless bottoms. I, you know, whether you're pulling spinners, crankbaits, whatever it may be, there is a time of the year, especially late in the year, where you need to just fish those areas and you can't rely as much on something like follow the contour. Now, follow the contour to me is, is one of the greatest tools I've got when those fish are on a contour line. But when they're not, what do we do at that point? You know, how do I go through an area, catch a bunch of fish, and then turn around and go back and catch them again? Well, number one, let me explain to you how I pull crankbaits a lot of the time. A lot of the time I've got my electric trolling motor down in the front. My Minn Kota Altera is in the water probably as much as this big motor is. I mean, I rely on that thing every single day to help me catch fish. But I've also got my kicker down. And what I'm doing there is I'm using the kicker motor for propulsion. That's what's moving me forward when I'm trolling cranks, sometimes even spinners, depending on the weather, okay? But in the bow, I'm using that Altera and I'm steering with this. That's how I go about doing this. So I'm picking my areas, I'm driving along, and I'm doing my steering with the bow because it's easier to move the bow than it is to push the bow with the kicker. So I just use that for the propulsion and my steering happens up there. But let's say that I'm cruising along, I'm in between contour lines, and I come on a bunch of fish. And I wanna go back and I wanna run that exact same path again. Well, it's featureless out there. I can't use my follow the contour. And I could sit there and try to paint that same line because I've got the track on my Humminbird unit right now and, and overlaid on my Lake Master map. But there's an easier way to do it that I wanna to explain to you. It's called backtrack. All I've gotta do is tell my Minn Kota through the Humminbird with the Lake Master map in it that I just wanna follow that track I was just on. I wanna backtrack on it. It will do it for me automatically. Now I can turn the boat around. I can actually just let the propulsion continue with my kicker and that electric motor in the front is gonna follow that track that I just did. So I can now go back and forth on that same track all day long if I like, catch fish all day long on areas in basins that look featureless, but I know I can be as precise as I need to be when that school is sitting in a certain area because the backtrack function just allows me to go back and forth on it. I'll tell you what, it's just another one of those unbelievable things that's been built into these Minn Kota trolling motors when they're able to talk to your Humminbird electronics with their Lake Master mapping. I'll tell you what, it's just phenomenal stuff and it's made me a better fisherman every single day. I guarantee you, if you use these these functions that are built in in these units, you will catch more fish. There is no doubt in my mind because I rely on it that much every single time I'm on the water.